The best way of installing Prometheus on a Mac computer is using a package manager called Homebrew. To see if you have Homebrew on your computer, type brew dash dash version and you must see Homebrew plus a version number. If you don't see this or if you get an error saying that the brew command is unknown, you don't have this package manager. In that case, you have to go to a website called brew.sh. You will follow the instructions and you will install Homebrew on your Mac computer. Once you know that you have the brew command on your computer, you can type brew install Prometheus. This will pour Prometheus on your Mac computer. I clear the screen. Before we start the Prometheus service, we need to go to a path that is USR local etc. If I get a list, you will see there are many files. Some of them are important to us. One of them is web.yaml. The configuration of the Prometheus's web interface is in that file. There is a Prometheus.yaml that is basically the configuration of the Prometheus engine. And there are two files. One is prom.cert and one is prom.key. These are the self-signed certificates for accessing the web interface using HTTPS. Let's do sudo nano web.yaml. In here, you will see that the two files that I mentioned to you are mentioned in here. These are self-signed certificates. You can create your own self-signed certificates and put them in here. By default, Prometheus only allows access using HTTPS and not HTTP. If your Mac doesn't accept external connections, you don't really need HTTPS. You will be fine with HTTP. Also, if you want to connect Grafana to Prometheus, Grafana will check to make sure that your keys are coming from a valid certification authority. Self-signed certificates will be a trouble and you will not be able to connect Grafana to Prometheus. Because of that, I normally put hashtags at the beginning of these two lines and comment them out so I can access Prometheus with HTTP. The next file is Prometheus.yaml. So if I run the command of nano Prometheus.yaml, there is a default username and a default password. Default username for accessing Prometheus is admin and the default password is password. And there is the static scraping config in here. If you want, you can add the file SD config as well and also the rule files, which is the standard configuration for Prometheus. Clear the screen again. Now you can run brew services start Prometheus. This will start Prometheus as a service, so it runs in the background. Now if you go to browser again and type HTTP localhost 9090, you will see the Prometheus's user interface. I have logged into Prometheus before, that is why I wasn't asked for login information. But if you are asked for login information, as I said before, the default username is admin and the default password is password.